Turn up, turn up, turn up, goddamn it. We back hey. on another episode of Ethnic Ish and More, episode number 43. 43. Hey. 43, once again, I didn't look up no sports players. I think Troy Palomalo wore number 43, though. Wow. I'm sure it's a random nigga in the NBA wore one at one point in time. Man, too many <laughs> niggas get picked up in the league wearing number 43. I wouldn't <laughs> trust a nigga with that random ass odd number. Mm. But if that's what he wants to do, unless it means something. I ain't trust KD for a while, 35, but it had a meeting. Wow. And then I started rocking with him until he started growing his hair out. And then I started second guessing the life decisions that that nigga be making. <laughs> yeah. If my, if my, if you, I don't, you don't want to call black people hair nappy, but that nigga shit hair nappy. Dog, like, they used yeah. to say his hair looked like, uh, look like the spiders. hamburger helper. Look like little spiders having a meeting like on like them. Coochie yeah. hair. Yeah, like oh old God, bag. Bad coochie, coochie hair from hair. the 60s. The coochie hair that's like, growing he got back. Throwback coochie hair. Like nah. you, didn't, you had to cut it, like, cut it to look like and that. When they do the arrow thing, he got a patch in the middle and all naps in a fro. I'm just like, what are you? Westbrook doing? had all the swag on that team. That's probably yeah, why. Yeah. You only said it because you look like Westbrook. Fact. You look like Westbrook. <laughs> 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 this nigga look like Westbrook. 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 He Westbrook know he do though. That's, that's crazy. No, that's, Westbrook do. Westbrook just it was. Like, I ain't give a fuck, a, nigga. I'm bust your ass. Look, Facts. bro, he's just a tall, lanky nigga that can hoop leg, look like hockey sticks. Facts. Nigga with like a size 34 shoe and shit. Like that's hella long. Like it's a hella wild. But I appreciate y'all ashy asses. Let me take out these headphones. I can hear a little better now. I forgot they was in my ear, honestly. Oh, them Air, That's why I like them AirPods. I be forgetting they be in my what? ear. I love sometimes. My I mean, I love them for the fact that I, that's why, though. But I'll be like, what the fuck is that? I goddamn love Christmas, just so you know. Yeah, no, nah, they, they overrated. They cool. They cool. One of them be dying out, and I got to listen to one side. I'm like, mm-hmm. I plug up this side of my ear, tell this one charge up and shit. And I'll be like, girl, I only heard half of what you're talking about. Exactly. But they jazzy until you lose one and it costs like $60 to buy just one. Oh, you can buy them solo? You can buy them solo. Left or right, it costs like six, between 60 and 70 I need to replace my left one. I, w- I was... Apple. I, yeah, I know. I dropped one somewhere. Yeah, yeah some high rollers, nigga. All my headphones still got cords on. Mine, there you go. <laughs> Look, Me no, too. the ones I like gross. got cords on it still. Mm-mm. When I go skating, because I couldn't... These stop like hearing good one time so i was like man let me find my core ones and i was like i miss these motherfuckers like they ain't never did me wrong outside of me never. washing them you yeah. can wash them motherfuckers they still good uh, boy what i don't wash them shits like 10 15 times Hell yeah I'm still here i feel like i hear better than when mm-hmm. i first got them i don't so mm-hmm. i don't know this because you yeah you, if it wasn't for reggie you got granted like, counters I, I understand i don't i don't speak broke Nick, niggas, with granted, <laughs> niggas with granted <laughs> counters don't want to want to lose your core well, I'm broke because bringing up the granite counter. Yeah, niggas with granite counter ain't worried about. Like, hey, Nico brought it up. Cool. I didn't bring it up. No, I only brought up the counter. I only brought up the counter. I, 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 I didn't bring up the event. I had some. Happen on the counter. I got you new bitches from, uh, from AutoZone. <laughs> <laughs> them bitches wasn't shit. They were like oh. some Android. No, yeah, I bought some from Walgreens one time. Mm-hmm. 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 That they don't last that long. No, that all. I had to skate like this so I could hear the goddamn music because all the music in there. That probably lasted a couple days. That lasted till that night because I took it back from my receipt. You don't like the music they play when you skate? It depends on. On the rink I'm at. Uh, Back when I was at home, it was more predominantly white rinks, so they're not playing until that, I requested. Yeah. What, what do they play at white skating rinks? Uh, pop music. What's uh, pop music? Uh, I thought black music was pop music. Nah, What's pop music? We think it's pop music because that's popular nah. to us. Okay. But you got like yo, like the shit, the shit on the radio stations we ain't looking for, like MTV. I feel like, like you get Rick Rolled at white skate places. Yeah, it was just like it was weird, bro. It was just like. Britney Spears type shit. Hell like, no. I'm just getting the, the oops, I did it again. Like, there's <laughs> yeah. no swag to that. Right. Well, so I gross. tried to swag it out. I was like, it's not working. <laughs> yeah, that's gross. It's like, if you forget your headphones and you ain't at a ring with black people, that's so, disgusting. It's a gross. long session. I'll pull it. I done pulled up and like, I ain't got it. Realize where I was going. I'll drive all the way back to the car. I went 20 to, minutes. Nigga. It's either I'm going to yeah. drive back and get him and come back. I'm going home. Or I'm just going to go home, Me bro. too. It was a waste of a blunt trip and a waste of a drive because mm. I can't take it. It threw off your whole mood. It's like you trying to get in a groove and the whole time you just like. Bro, I didn't even know white <laughs> people had skating rinks. I didn't yeah. know that was their yeah, thing, bro. bro. They more, they more skating rinks that white people own. Like, hell, it's barely any black Own, but like. Do they skate skate? Right. No, right. Okay. Do they the diff- roll? So nigga. as a nigga that skate, the difference that I notice, in, unless the white person is more in the black skate community, mm-hmm. it's just really fast in a circle. Just speeding around. Well, also like how white people skate is where people come up with that. My fucker still skate because they see shit like that. It'd be like, I wouldn't go skating if I just saw people going around in a circle like this. 
Yeah, five fucking seconds. <laughs> like, I wouldn't want to see that shit either. Yeah. I'll be at the rink like, they sure. skate ass the slow music. I'll be like, y'all have no, there's no, like, they Sauce. don't hear the music. Like, how we skate, you watch videos of me, you can see what beats of the skate. Like, we dance on skates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They just go to skate. Like, they're just there. <laughs> for, the the they yeah, to, <laughs> for the fitness. For the fitness. For the fitness and skate fitness to the too, words. But I swag it out a lot more. It's just yeah. like, if yeah. I took these skates off, I could do these same moves. On my feet. Look you like a step. real one. Mm -hmm. I can't right. skate for yeah. shit. Thank you. All right, I make two of us. Well, look, what people issue is getting that past like... taking the L or falling. My ankles start hurting. Once you get past taking that L or falling and realizing that come with it, then you learn how to skate. See, it's not the falling that fucked me up. My it, ankles it hurt 45 minutes but in. But see, you probably use them rentals too. Yeah. yeah. Them motherfuckers are heavy as hell. Yeah. Like the plates on them, super oh, pure, like aluminum. Like that, like they got all them heavy metal ass plates and shit. You lift your shit up, it's like a workout. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I, how do I pin a comment? Girl, you, you click on the seventy-seven. Comment, hold, yeah. then it say pin. Bottle be low. I didn't even post it yet. Oh, yeah. You gotta post she it. She trying to figure out how oh. she go. Okay. Yeah, that's the spirit day. Show. You alive on Facebook and Instagram? That was, that was the spirit day show. Okay. Bobby. Okay. I'm a old. <laughs> yeah, Instagram can. Bro, I try to go live on Instagram. I got like two people. Nigga, like, you and me both. both. I got, I got two people on here, but well, I, it's better than one. It took a long time for my two though. I had five people jump in. I, I don't, I don't yeah, think they. Rich nigga they shit. Know. Look at you. That's rich nigga shit. Five right. people at one five. time on Instagram. At one time, it just went zero to five. It, it went zero to I five, and I think like, I went back to zero. You could pop on Instagram. I was watching the verses. It's just dope to see. That shit would go from like 100,000. 500,000. Like, that shit crazy. jump was it's so crazy. crazy. And then you see the comments, nothing but check marks. That's it. No, no I seen that. I, I slipped up in the motherfuckers. I slipped up. I had three people text me. Really? Three people text me like, I just saw you. I did it from the Ethnic and Shamora page where I was just firing off jokes. I was flaming motherfuckers the whole time. You got to. You got to be firing them in yeah, there. Bro, you can't be scared. If you send no, one, it ain't going to pop. No, bro. I'm just firing them off there. Somebody, I got a text. They like, I just seen your Ethnic and Shamora pop up on his verses. Then somebody else like added me in there, motherfucker. I could never see what they said. Cause That's hard. It's, yeah, it's a hundred. But I was like, yeah, billion shit, comments going. Going. You hear me? Shit now. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, I'm just talking yeah. with my pinky up that you night. Like, you can tell me yes, shit. You peasants. Yes, I went to the yes, school. Like, let me get a free pack of Rellos. Like oh, yes, yes, let me get a free pack of Rellos. <laughs> I was just on the verses. Yeah. Yes, then I went to go pick up my dry cleaning. And I told the lady, she seen my jersey. She's like, oh, that's nice. I'm like, I put my suits there. Okay. I don't need suits. And I did my jersey. Only because me and my I washed my uh, Cubs jersey at the laundromat, and that motherfucker ripped my jersey. I was heartbroken because it was customized. Ooh. I don't know if it was some hater shit because I was out here and y'all like the Cardinals, but that I'm really broke weird. my heart. And so now Probably. I go to $4.25. Wow. That's cool. And my man, my shit going to get pressed right. But I told her I did an internet radio show Press podcast. Right. I don't know what she thought that was. But she yeah. started fumbling. She was like, I'm messing up. I got a celebrity. I was like, I ain't no motherfucking celebrity, but yeah. I did win an award, shorty. I mean, if you want to talk yeah, about that, I we did. can talk yeah. about that. Award, shorty. For sure. You know. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, you keep the change, right? Bitch, 50 cent, do you? Do you? Don't go nowhere and spend it all at one place. <laughs> like, don't ball out on it on the stickers and shit. Like, you know, you got to put two of them in there, y'all. You take you take Negroes out the hood, boy. I swear, God, Look, babe. man. Should have never gave you niggas, niggas money. I'm a suburb nigga, so I like to act fancy when I go to the hood. Like, <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, out. Yes, sir. I'm a little yes, different. I'm a little razzling and a little dazzling. Um, y'all, if y'all heard them first few tracks that kicked off, shout out to BB. Dog. With that hot seat. That's a new joint, about two weeks old. She's gonna come on on the 16th. Kind of go over that, but it's fire. Give her a hand clap for that. Look, you get, look. She, you gotta. Yeah. She said you need. And look, every time I hear a good R&B song, I always send them a message. I could do a skate video of this shit. I ain't did one of them yet, but I got like five skate videos I gotta make. So I'm gonna get them out, y'all. Yours. I be trying to tell you, if I got slow songs, y'all just need to find the. You need to get them into skating rinks in Chicago. Like we love Man. slow music. That's you get one of your songs to play in there. It's like how down south they be like, if your shit pop in the strip club, you know it's then gonna you got pop. It. Mm. Your slow song pop in the skating rink during the Chicago slow set. Wow. Your song gonna pop like cause it turned right. it turned into a whole nother vibe in there, bro. It's like oh. it's like being in the plex, but you and everybody ain't freaking on each other. I don't know. What's <laughs> going on with that, nigga. You, you, you that Lincoln nigga? Well, you damn like y'all know I'm. <laughs> <laughs> you was definitely like, <laughs> 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 yeah, I went to Lincoln most definitely I'm, I'm not long, but I was in there. Nigga, I went from eleven to twelve. So what? By the time you got there, the plex was over with. Yeah, yeah I don't know. That motherfucker got shot. We went to same college, so it's a it's a big it's a big place. We had two of them called this one called the Sportsplex, one the College Complex, like the club. Yeah. Well, College Complex was a club, Sportsplex was like a barn, and we just throw big ass parties in there. But that yeah. one got shot up. 
Yeah, some KC niggas. And then the other one, I just that shit turned into so many other things. Um, we dropped that Chris Brown. Your man ain't me. Hey, it's one of my favorites. That's two thousand six. Look, sir. That was I was a high school Chris Breezy. That was fire. That was one of my every time that shit come on, I'll be singing loud as hell in the crib. I know my mm-hmm. dog tired of me. Lord. I'll be making her, I'll be holding her paw. she be like, nigga, get the fuck off. I'm like, girl, you better take this love. I'll feed you. I'll and feed that you. Usher superstar. Mm. Now, yeah, that's my goddamn since track. you said that, if we get an Usher versus Chris Brown versus, it. I'm just curious, Nico, on where you stand as the R&B Honestly, skate. if we pick it, 20 straight hits, as much as I want to go Usher. Get out. <laughs> yeah, I'm going Usher, big dog. I want Get out. Usher, I want Usher to wear it. Get out. <laughs> but, but, you're talking about but not chart, Usher. But you're talking about chart Usher topping his brand. But Usher y'all. has classic. Usher has classic. Usher got, uh, Usher got real r and Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Chris Chris Brown, Brown, my, my, pick, my personal pick is Usher. Is Usher. Easy. But just because I grew up on that. I grew up on Chris Brown, too. And we the same age, like about two months difference. Mm-hmm. But I know if people like 20 hits, we can't act like Chris Brown don't be having number ones from but, every but fucking Usher, nigga. But, I like, but, nigga put out two I albums with like 100 too, songs. But here's my thing with Chris Brown. Like, they be like because, summer hits. Usher or, and then the next year or so, yeah, you know. No, nah, Usher got timeless but, music. Yeah, he does. Usher yeah. classic. That's what I'm he got and yeah. I know he got at least, people like go for that Chris whole Brown 20 songs. I know that there are at least 11 songs Usher can play. Chris Brown not going to win. At least 11. Superstar for me gonna win. Can you handle it? Gonna win. Nice, oh, you got nice it bad. and slow. Burn oh, confessions. Nice and, nice and slow. Uh, uh, confessions gonna win. C- confessions gonna win confessions. by itself, baby. Like, Burn easy. Just, to me, like, you pick either one because I everybody like the remix. And then we didn't even I like the original confession. Okay, okay now we talked about that the other day, and Nando and Sean like, like, like they never heard the regular. That would be. And me and Retro were like, we like. I like the regular. The regular what? The regular confessions. There's a regular. The tempo is the fast. Are you talking about the first one and the second one? Yeah, the second one is the one with the video that everybody. I like People don't remember the first one. I wanted to cheat on my girl after I heard that shit, boy. That's what it got. I went and that's cheated on my girl as soon as the came out. Cold. Nigga did a whole I, breakdown on you're the harmonica. You not serious. I gotta go. Like, you did I'm a in whole the studio. <laughs> I call you back. I call you back. I'm gonna call you back. I'm gonna call you back. Whoever played that harmonica was the coldest nigga I ever heard on harmonica. That nigga cheated on Chili and went platinum. He did not cheat on Chili. He said Jermaine Dupri wrote that song. Can we talk about confessions? It don't matter. It was perfect timing. He cheated on Chili. But she said he cheated on Chili. Yeah, why they break but up But confessions then? wasn't about him cheating on Chili. It, it came out at the, the perfect time. time. Okay. I ain't gonna do that part. That nigga, uh, hey, yeah, he cold. I think, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't up for that. I'm not putting enough black men down loud on TV. Yeah, black men don't cheat. Who was the last black man that cheated? Black men don't cheat. Black men don't cheat, y'all. But I got to get out to Usher. Nah, yeah. Easy, if I'm gonna pick Not easy, but I'm, I'm picking Usher. I, would, I think Usher can cheat. I, I, mean, I, I guess I'll say it like that because Chris Brown just know he got, it was not he got 20 easy hits. He, you know he gonna pick. It'll be you hard. You can name him back to back to back to back. I think anybody like 23 and up is probably gonna say Usher. Now if you mm. now if we were instant if we were just to put this on like a scale of younger than 22, they might all say Chris Brown. Facts. I the only thing Chris Brown issue would be is. He got so many songs. What 20 hits can you pick that's going to pair up? With to Usher. The, yeah. Usher may have 20 solid Usher, straight hits, just 20. Usher got With real them, R&B hit, yeah. shit. So when the last time Chris Brown dropped R&B? You think Chris? Like that was a true. Uh, uh, Your man ain't me shit. Hmm. You feel me? Like <laughs> Damage from uh, Royalty. From that, that song album. with him like, and that uh, album was a little... What's the and name? Is How you go? Uh, the Sing that shit from the... Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Which and they got Juicy Booty. What? No, I know what song you can do. That is, that is <laughs> that pop. That, that is not R&D. I know what song you can do. The, the Juicy. Song. I know what song. Uh, drunk Text. Yeah, Drunk, uh, drunk Text. Text. Yeah. That's the last yeah. R&B-ish yeah, I'm gonna have to type song. I'm going to have to look through all his albums and be like, all right, this was a hit. He had some songs I fucked with, like, but they wasn't like Usher R&B. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Usher is going to... Clown Superstar, one of those songs you hear, you just throw your hands up. Man, what? The <laughs> no matter what, you, oh, no matter what you're going through. I don't know. Yeah. All right, Chris, you better figure it out. That's probably why they ain't made it. I saw a flyer for an upcoming verse. I don't believe it's real. It said Meek and Drake. That's not going to happen. That's suicidal. Yeah, man. that's it's stupid. I mean, yeah. they can't suicidal see- because they got cool and put all nah, the Nah, suicidal. I, I, can't just, I, 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 I love Meek. Uh, 20 old body for me. Meek has no song. Yeah. None. Outside of maybe he could try to put 
Oh, I used to I used to cry for Tom Light first day. Nah, yeah, that's dreams and nightmares. That's it. Dreams, dreams and nightmares. nightmares. That's, that's, that's it. Put it. Yeah. That's it. They not even the same kind of artists though. I don't well, understand. I how think they... people put that together based off of the camaraderie, camaraderie they had nah. with that whole Nicki issue. I, I would put Drake Kanye. I don't think they'll do it again. That's they're, the only that'll, that'll bring about a new break every issue. record. I'm that's what we've been talking about. Chris Brown got more hits than me. I don't think nothing gonna fuck with Gucci and Jeezy. People only mm-hmm. went there. That, that niggas versus... only went there because they were trying to see which one of them going to get shot. Exactly. exactly. That, niggas ain't going to get shot with like, Kanye But it's like Drake. the music heads going to go to that. The Kanye. The, yeah. like, or if you do like Drake and Wayne. Yeah, now those are the Drake those, Wayne, those, those are the only people in my opinion who can like Drake, can't go Drake yeah. Wayne. Yeah. I'm yeah. Yeah. Same vibe as I that's did. stupid. I was in the I car, I'm waiting on the home, but I'm in the car blowing, watching the Gucci and then man, man that shit was turning. Smoking on Pookie Low. I feel like I was in college again. Yeah. Turned up. In the club, yeah. fucked up. It was old. It was old. But it was school. just, I was also in that motherfucker feeling like in college. I was like, okay, these niggas gonna fight. Man, these niggas gonna yeah. fight. And I'm like, y'all get towards the door. Nah, and, and Gucci, Gucci niggas niggas really And them not small out. niggas. They not, bro. Jeezy is. Gu- Gucci, Gucci, Gucci is, is not a Gucci small nigga. Gucci is 6364. But Jeezy like, not no. Now. You can't tell that. Yeah, yeah. man. Jeezy not no skinny nigga, though. I feel like Jeezy is not a nigga you would just. You seen the size of his head? You can't yeah, just walk head up head on Jeezy head. like that. As long as your hair but Gucci, because he hair but him. It's a dog. Gucci. They don't have to yeah. shoot Jeezy. Yeah. Jeezy was Big a nigga turning like You got to jump it. Yeah, with one of them. Like a cold head. Yeah, yeah. Slide his shit. That motherfuckers was tripping though. Like, I was just like, I knew they was gonna do that, but I'm like, bro, y'all, I, like, I knew the end was gonna end like that. So icy. I'm like, yeah. that makes the most sense. Either y'all gonna do it in the beginning or end it out to make it seem like y'all cool. And then Gucci gonna do all this wild talking the whole time. And the first thing was like, no disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> you spent the whole night disrespecting. Right. What are you talking about? It's a little too late for that. It's way hey, too late for that. That nigga that. Gucci violated. Bro. <laughs> you, he violated. He, said he, had, he was like, you said I could do that song. <laughs> you said I, you like, I didn't think you was going to do it. Like, just because I gave you the Gucci going to upload it to streaming. Yeah. Upload a damn thing. Niggas probably had never heard of that song. Unless you was a hood nigga. So Listen, icy? No, nah, true. The, the, the song where he was talking about shooting, shooting his dead his homie. Oh, I never had heard that. You yeah. never heard the, that's the best diss record Like, he was talking. What? what? I didn't say the best diss record. I, what, what y'all got, I Ethan? Didn't, I didn't what y'all got? Uh, uh, bro, life on the line. What's uh, several other fifty songs? Name was, a bar better than better than go dig your homeboy up. I bet he can't say shit. Yeah, that was uh, mad. I mean, that's, that was go say name fight. a bar better than that. I'd have had to kill him. I don't know. My you favorite, got to kill a nigga over there. You got to was yeah. No. Eminem, Fifty, and Buster song where they did on Hail Mary oh, against yeah. motherfucking oh, Murder. Anything about yeah, like yeah, mine? Yeah. Just because lyrically, all of them niggas went in. Yeah. Like, yeah, I ain't never heard that before. Nah, bro, them niggas went in on murder. Name a boy. I can't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I win, man. <laughs> no. I mean, but it ain't no bar that's like that. I don't like know that. the G unit. Oh, that. I don't know. I'm a New York nigga, so like the the He's don't do New that. York at heart. Uh, no, so I'm surprised I don't have my Timberlands on right now. <laughs> one third Timberland. Uh, one third Timberland. Uh, I'm definitely one third Timberland. Nah, that I smell pussy. Is that you, John? Yeah. I smell pussy. Is that me. you, Er? I was talking bad to John Rule during like, the verses uh-uh. too. Yeah, I sure see him coming to my room, baby. I said, until you get them people back that money for that festival, yeah. you better Don't not come in one more shit. time. I'm weak. And I added his ass, so he got it. I know he saw mm-hmm. it. 50 yeah, bought all the front row tickets. tickets to the 50, yeah. 50 so is like my spirit animal. That nigga's right? savage. <laughs> savage. <laughs> savage. That's like, I, I would never want to be a savage nigga with the amount of money he got, because I would do shit like that. I'll buy yeah. the whole concert out. Yeah. And come what? When he bought yeah. the wig uh, and was making fun of Rick Ross and was like, Officer Ricky, like, dog, that shit was so funny. And hey, you can't do nothing about it. You can't. It's like, you can't do nothing. You, you, you nigga funny. Nigga prison swole. Yeah. Like, first of all, you, can't, you don't want to fight a nigga been shot nine times. There's <laughs> nothing to lose at nothing. this point in time in his life. Not scared yeah. of nothing now. Well, like, nigga, no, first no. of all, I've been shot back. nine times and I put out an album about it in a movie. Mm. Album. Mm. And it all went diamond. Oh, like, went all diamond. Went diamond. You can't beat me. You Ooh. can't. He funny. He's a great businessman. He just be he's tweet. petty. He just, get, yeah, he just, he just overly petty. I can't get with him. That's his he issue. He can act. He's overly and petty. He can act. Overly nigga, petty. on top he of all of that, the nigga can act, bro. Yeah, he overly petty. He's Come like, on, bro. Right, bro. It's at the point like, bro, you got bread. Chill out, cuz. But he do it just because. He do it just because he can. So people can do this. He make fun of Angela Bassett. Bassett. He make fire ass shows, though, because that motherfucking no. power and for life. Yeah. Can't take it away from him. You can't. You can't knock him. You can't knock the genius behind him. He just be tweaking. He got. <laughs> it's like Kanye. You can't knock the genius. The nigga just be tweaking after a while. 
Yeah. Well, Kanye has behavioral health. He has real like mental. Health. I mean, to be honest though, I won't put past fifty. Seventy-two. I, I mean, the nigga been shot. I think fifty. Like you been shot nine purpose. times. Your mama. Like if the movie, a lot of that movie did depict his actual life. He was living some fucked up shit. Like, Y'all think fifty and Kanye on the same? Uh, Not like mental, mental headspace. Crazy, no. Oh, no. No, no, because no. only difference is Kanye acknowledges his to a degree. Yeah. Fifty don't give a fuck. Fifty like nigga. I yeah, don't have that's that's the good nigga that probably in fifty talk bad and argue with his kid. I know he that nigga said he shit. ain't my kid, he bro. He's he not like my son. son. Like the bro. nigga look just like, like the what? nigga, bro. <laughs> the nigga turned 18. He put out a whole diss post about the mom. Bro, what? I ain't got no more child oh support payments. Oh, my God. is ruthless. He ruthless because He's you can't ruthless. do nothing. Unless you're going to snipe the nigga from a distance. You can't do nothing. There's nothing you can do about it. He, that bullet probably bounced back. Nigga like Luke Cage at this you point. You feel me? You like, it's not too it's much. Hard. It's hard you to do something with a nigga. got money. He that funny. And he can rap. Like, what angle? Look, big facts. But look, y'all, uh, like I said, shout out to y'all ashy asses for tuning in. I want to give a shout out to MyCityMyMusic.com as hey. that is where we do our razzle devil with Justin in the background. Oh, y'all can listen on MyCityMyMusic.com. You can listen on Spreaker. You can listen on 22 other streaming platforms like your favorite one, Spotify, iHeart, all of that good shit. You can go to EthnicIsYourMore.com. You can go to BudTalkSTL backslash EthnicIsYourMore hey. and find out info as well. And shout out to our wonderful sponsors, Cash App. Cash and like I say every week, Jack Dorsey, I would like my student loans paid. Um, you don't have to give me the money per se, but you could teach me the motherfucking game, Ghost, so we can figure mm -hmm. that out and get that paid off. But if you would like to pay that off, use it as a tax write-off and do it a charity token black thing, who am I to tell you not to do with your funds? Cash App is worth $88 billion. Um, I work for Square. I kind of see the number. We, and yeah, I mean, Square as a whole is worth $88 billion. Cash App worth two-thirds of that. Mm. Like, And the bag just continuously goes up from there. Um, a shout-out to our guest, Clap it up for last week. We had Mixtape Woo. Midwest Mixtape. Adam Murphy was in the building. Shout out Shout to out, uh, artist and event coordinator, DJ Prospect out here. He was out here kicking it with us. We got to throw another clap in the building for our wonderful guest tonight. We got the media, Reggie Gill. Yo, 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 yo. What's and that the there? wonderful, the wonderful singer, songwriter. Hey. <laughs> love hey. in the building hey. and i got a special guest host y'all y'all don't hear melanie nor do y'all hear yayo we got tomo in the building what's the bar guy we in this thing, man, doing our razzle and dazzling and speaking of our wonderful guest be love y'all she is here for a wonderful 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 purpose y'all so tell our listeners and viewers a little about yourself again Mm. and what you do. All right, because I was back here. In, uh, you August. was back here doing your razzle dazzle. Okay, well, my name is B. Love. Woo! I, <laughs> he's so extra. I am a singer. Woo! I am a songwriter. Woo! <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's... You are so extra. Um, my first single, Danger, is coming out in two days, December 27th. Dos años. Yes, dos años. It will be on all streaming platforms, so I will be oh, on Apple TV. Music. Yeah, that's, that's I will be on Tidal. I will be on Spotify. Anywhere you stream your music, YouTube, mm. Danger is going to be on um, all streaming platforms. Um, this is just my first single. I am working on more music. Me and Tomo have music. We got a project called In the Meantime. Okay. So y'all okay. will be hearing a lot from me. Look, y'all, we're waiting yeah. for the album. You come do the album oh, release in this mug. It's I'll, coming. I'm with it's it. Coming. I've been telling people, I got a few people set up for that. Where they gonna yeah. do like our whole episode gonna be geared towards that. Mm -hmm. We'll do like we ain't gonna play. It's a couple songs we'll play super and full, mm -hmm. and then a lot of them we'll play a little minute play snippet, little kind of talk about how that one went through and everything. So I got a few people I done chatted up that want to do it. So, so I'm telling everybody if you with it, we'll figure out a way to schedule. Even if the album already come out, we yeah. can still come back around come and back do it like exactly. that. Yeah. So now, speaking uh -oh. of y'all, mm -hmm. her doing a song that comes out Danger in two days. Hmm. We get to do the world premiere here tonight hey. on Ethnic out. Ish and More. We do. So, Let's go. without goddamn further ado, I'm gonna let you introduce your wonderful song <laughs> that's gonna come out. This is Danger, everybody, by B Love.
God damn it. Y'all heard mm-hmm. that new track from the beloved. It is called Danger. And make sure y'all get it on all streaming platforms. Dang. On For sure. Friday, 27, Black Friday. You got 99 cents. Mm-hmm. It's Rello Money. <laughs> I equate everything in Rello Money. Rello Money That weed. is a Rello. I do. I'm like, bro, if I can spend 99 cents buy on some Rello. I actually buy people's songs. If I fucks with you, mm-hmm. I straight buy your shit. That's a Rello. Just because <laughs> I know. That's a Rello. No, and I straight off bought a few people's shit. Like, I fucked you. I pay for it. Right. It's just a dollar. It's a dollar. Right. I bought, it's a dollar. I bought whole albums. They were like seven ninety nine. Like, nigga, I'll smoke that shit. Yeah, you know how much bullshit you did about for seven Yeah, I can do the streaming. A lot of times, I'll take somebody's song. If I want to stream it, I'll listen to it all the way through. If I want you to run it up, I'll go put it on my computer and, and go to sleep. sleep. Yeah. And just let, let that shit on loop. Yeah. Do the whole night. Let it run your shit up. Yeah. I do it with my theme song. Mm. Shit, they be doing it with their own shit. I'm going to finesse my music, too, because yeah. I get paid from it. Figgity, figgity facts. Look, big mm-hmm. facts. So, what, what's next for be love after this like you got the track coming out this friday <sighs> about I you. do uh so danger is coming out this friday uh there will be a visual coming out with danger okay dropping on new year's day okay so that's exciting um and i am working on other music like i said i'm working on an ep right now it'll just be like five songs i have two done and then three more to do okay so 2021 it's gonna be the big moves. I'm coming, coming out. This EP so fire. I know. Look, this fire. So if this the mm-hmm. lead track off of it. I, can't I know it got to be. The other four gonna be. Like, got to be. I love good. We getting R and B music that's finally going back to R and B. Man, what? That's what I was thinking. Niggas be too turned up and they R and B songs. I'm like, damn, but you shot a nigga while you were singing. Nigga, that's what I was thinking. Why you singing? You shoot a nigga on a note. Like you was holding a melody? You shot a nigga? Mm-mm. You was holding a nigga. No, All I thought about was why I meant melody. Look, look. <laughs> that's why I still listen to, like, I got a playlist where I just yeah. add slow music. I listen to all old shit because mm-hmm. I want to hear slow music. Nigga, that's that soul gives me my vibe. music. Yeah. You hear me? No. Yeah. Yeah. That's soul music. That's one of them songs, like I said, if I had yeah. known who you were and it just popped up on a play, because I play random RB playlists when I be cleaning. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a few songs I'll stop. Like, what what that is? Yeah. Like, let me run that back. That yeah. That's one of them songs you hear me like, well, I'm gonna say Zam out. You hear me? See that motherfucker pop up on that. Shazam there. out. Yeah, Man, like that's that, that's fire. But yeah, that's it comes out. Fire. So it comes out Friday, and yeah, I see your question and say what inspired it. Yeah, what did inspire that? That's what I want to know. Yeah, like, that shit <laughs> beat. Like, what made yeah. you think of that shit right yeah, there? What, like, what inspired uh, this danger? Let us know. Oh, so be honest. I, I'm gonna be completely I honest with you. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be a honor. I'm gonna be a honor. A honor. <laughs> um, Danger was inspired by a groovy kind of guy um, that I was vibing with. I'm good, baby, right now. Um, that I was vibing with. And, <clears throat> you know, as time went on, it was just like, okay, maybe we won't be able to, like, fully cross the line or go there. You know, a relationship may not be, like, for us. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I just want to cross the danger line. I just want to get in some intimate space with you. You know, like, I like the vibe. I like the feeling when I'm around with you. So it's like, you know, when you around me, can you just be mine? You know what I'm saying? I just, like, can we go with that? So can we cross the danger line, even if we ain't going to go all the way there? Maybe not ever in his lifetime. Maybe just not right now. But I know when I'm with you. It's a vibe. You know that sex that you're not supposed to be having. That's what I was thinking the whole time. (laughs) We just gonna have sex on these (laughs) days. That whole song gave me. Uh, but I put, it in a, I put it in a way. We're not supposed to be here, but, but we're here. You got to care, but when we together, that shit is to get, it's just <laughs> I mean, together. But I, I, I put it something. in a way I where mean, it was like, where it was like, it could be for <laughs> I mean, different like type of situations. So it's like, for me, it's not necessarily like one of them situations where I was like, okay, I know you got a girl in a situation. Like, you know, but it's like, if you're in a situation where it's like, dang, we can't be together. Like I said, maybe not right now, maybe not ever, but I do want to cross the danger line with you. This is that. Yeah. Type of song, so I was inspired by a groovy kind of guy in a real life situation. I love that feeling. See, the yeah. real life situations yeah. will make you come out with that heat. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, it's only light. so long. <laughs> yeah, the it's like music feet. is good. <laughs> that's why. That's what be messing up R and B music. They want to tell the real life stories. No right. What they Facts. went through and what they yeah. felt. Mm. No, this Facts. is real. Yeah, when you put Facts. you put need, your feelings on. I the need pen. to hear that Neu at the beginning. Neu. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I need to hear that Neu at the beginning. Oh, that's what we get next. What's that one? Something with a Nehu at the beginning? I don't know. We'll come with a Nehu at the beginning. Uh, you talking about what she just I, did? I, I think I might put a Nehu at the beginning of one of my songs. We oh, bring a real R&B back. What's a Nehu? I know you know, Natasha. Uh, them words that don't mean nothing. Yeah. But they just, <laughs> no, you, you, you know, know how, okay, can you say in the rain? Yeah. At the beginning, the Nehu. 
yeah. Like people yeah. like if yeah. they yeah. it ain't you, you, yeah. you, you know, know when boys to men usher when they hit that nay who at the beginning, it was adult time. You know it's love when they start making you say words that don't even don't exist. Don't mean nothing. <laughs> 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 I was like, I know you in love. I like, girl, I felt like a hyena. Sound that shit right. Like, you looking at the lyrics, like, what did he say? I'm like, did you see that? No, that was the hottest part of this shit. I'm like, nigga, you came up with that. That's love. And it, like and it put it on genius. Yeah, put the so. lyrics on genius in whatever sound that they felt like that's what came from their like, song. Nigga, can you spell out that lyric for us? Mm-mm. I can't. It's a H Y Y Y E A U A U U at the end, baby. That's yeah. all we got. That's all we got. Look, so now tell our listeners and viewers where they can find you, your platform, or any other previous music you've been a part of. Absolutely. So you can find me on Facebook at uh, I do have an artist page, Be Love, or my personal page is Barbara Gardner. Um, you can find me on Instagram at four underscores B dot love. And then um, I am a part of music with Tomo. So you can find us. Um, you can go to Apple Music, Spotify, um, title, type in Tomo. I am on the song Victoria. T O double M O. T O double M O. And we got some more stuff coming. This. Yeah, I heard. Fire. I heard it's some heat coming. Fire. Her Chicago was great. Our Chicago, Chicago was, was good. Fire. It was very productive. I love to hear people go back to the crib yeah, and have man. a good time. It's always man. a vibe. It's, it's yeah. always from a vibe. Don and everybody that we met. Yeah, like, it, it's yeah. just it's just lovely. Like I was telling you, I home. never I've never met Jerry who run that the boot camp radio mm-hmm. station. I just know he do it. I know he, he in Chicago. Soon Nando slid on me like, bro, I'm going to Chicago. Is there any type of bloggers? And what people don't know, I don't know nobody at the crib doing. That. Like yeah. I'm from what I'm from Aurora, which is 45 minutes away. I'll be in Chicago, but yeah. I didn't start this whole journalism lifestyle till I was here. Mm-hmm. And then one like I did it in college, and like that shit happened last yeah. year, mm-hmm. coming the first episode of Ethnic Is mm-hmm. So I just I knew somebody did something. I just slid in his inbox like, hey bro, no, I know you do radio. I got it's an artist out here, bro, that was going to Chicago. Yeah. I'm like, bro, he's gonna be one of the next up in a little. I think that'd be a fire look for y'all to yeah. get him, whoever come with him on there. He was like, shit, just put us in contact. Yeah. Tell him now, no, this is Paige. Go holler at him. Yeah. I didn't even know he did it until I saw the his uh the flying pop up. No, not even the flyer, bro. I didn't see it until he had actually had already did the episode. Ah. He was live, he was there, or it was like a day or so after y'all was coming back, and I yeah. saw his story. Wow. And I was like, damn, bro, I happy to do that shit happened. Yeah, no, Chicago was real productive. The the music that Tomo just did was real. I can't wait for y'all to hear it. And I said, Tomo, like, I'm not on it, but it's really, like, his baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just did a little bit, but he got some dope stuff. I be wanting to punch. Time. We be doing, we be in there creating them whole yeah, babies, as she want to call it, together. Don't, don't she is on yourself. the whole song. She helps write. She helps put the song together. I just want to skit uh, on the album. The note. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, we might give you a Dave Chappelle. So I just want to skit on the album, bro. That's all I need. Just let me get the That'd intro. Dope. Well, dope. I can do some Morgan Freeman man, type bro. shit like you did on <laughs> 20 on <laughs> Savage, man. Talk on the beginning. Man, I'll give you I some I might heat. call you for a skit on the EP. I'm, oh, I'm with it. I'm with it. <laughs> right. You just tell me the direction. I'll make it do what it do. We are. I'm on my mama, y'all. So, look. Man, you don't think you said that. I'm for the people. I'm going to tell the folks, if I fuck with you, it's free. I don't fuck with you. I'm going to give you a price list come January 1st. Just let y'all know. Yeah, see, let me go ahead and get mine in now. So, Nico, I'm serious. Like, when I call you for this skit. No. I'm going to put Nico at the beginning of it. We're going to straight put him in the I'm dead ass. I'm dead ass. All you got to do is call me, tell me, tell me, we didn't finish the word. I'm in that motherfucker doing my razzle and my motherfucking dazzle. I'm going to put Nico at the beginning of that. Straight, straight. Just tell me when to show up to the studio, bro. I'm getting that motherfucker. Show it out. Give me one more. And, and, and a Hawaiian punch in the pouch, nigga. And I'm, I'm just, I don't know where that came from, but you're going to get great in this, goddamn it. Hawaiian punch in the pouch. You know, they're different. The it depends on how you get it. It tastes different in every it damn one. Like Minute Maid. Minute Maid in a plastic bottle opposed yeah. to a can opposed to the, to the, 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 the big thing. gallon jug opposed to the little court one. Oh, yeah, that, that shit is a different juice different in each too. one of them. I give them that. What are y'all I give them that. About? Oh, it was a random moment. I don't know. We got on juice. Niggas had a nigga moment. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I, digress. I digress. Speaking of nigga moments, mm. there's another segue. How y'all feel about this versus battle between Gucci and, and Jeezy? Well, Gucci won. That's just. Ooh. Can I be honest? I'm a Gucci fan, bro. Well, that's so. why. Can I be honest? Yeah. 
I didn't watch it. I just <gasps> you was the only nigga no, who wait, didn't watch wait, it wait, in wait, the world. Wait, wait, My grandma first seen of all, this shit. I am a nigga. That's you know, nigga, nigga. Nigga. chicken nuggets. Wait, it's the same. Wait, shit. wait, wait. I did not watch wait, it. Wait, I'm heartbroken wait, to hear that. Tom, don't start. I'm not you. Of, I wasn't even gonna come for you. Oh, I was gonna okay. come for Reggie. Okay. You said WAP one. Hell yeah. He a WAP fan though. He well, said it after. What? No, I. You listen to NBA Young Boy, don't you? No. I mean, he cool. Yeah, he cool. He good. He good money. My thing is. What what can you be from go dig your pine up and I send a box to you and I'm smoking on I mean, Pookie that's, that's, that's but that's all oh that's disrespect. That's, like well, I get I was, that. What I is get the, he but, won that round? I'll give him that round. Depending what, on what he played it. What what, what was what was this whole battle formed? But of, the like, song that he what, played what, after that was fine. Who? Jeezy played after that. Like that, yeah, it was. It was. That it, was the best that shit. Was that was a, the that best was the time for Jeezy intro. right there. That one thing for toe shoot. What he say? One thing for show. Two things for certain. Yeah. I, I was like, so oh shit! I didn't watch, so I know nothing of what uh, y'all yeah, talking about. You missed about. the wonderful oh, nigga moment. That was that was, it was that probably was the most okay. nigga moment of 2020 oh. because yeah. it felt like if it wasn't that gap between them niggas, it'd have been some like, hey, bro, you got me fucked up type shit. Yeah. I but the clips that I saw though, I feel like Jeezy handled things really well. He I did, wanna, and I want to give him like mad respect for that. I've been deciding like all week, like how, nah, but did. Jeezy was like, it it's mad hard to be like but the you, bigger person you know in those kind of situations. Technically. Hey, too much you can say. Gucci got every right to feel the way he feels. Every reason. Cause you sent a nigga to kill him. And you this is true. yeah, he and killed your. How homework. can you be like? You can't be mad at hey, nigga that's gonna, mad that you. We tried ain't to gonna kill. talk about all that, even though I tried to kill you. That's exactly what that was. Come on. That's the only thing I understood the hostility on Gucci on both sides, and I understood why he was chilling. There's if the I don't reversed. understand it because I'm not the, at that point in my life yet where I wouldn't have popped off. No. I, I would have so, either person could have popped off. Either person it was like, had it was a right. Hood, it was the street could say or do yeah, something. Yeah, I just don't. I, I come into both of them because I don't. No, because Gucci was no Gucci was popping his mouth the whole. The whole yeah, time. I saw he started that. off with yeah. with talking with shit. With a horrible <laughs> diss song that he had yeah. just made ten minutes before the show. I was like, Gucci, don't don't do this. Don't use that song. No but more. it was for the streets. It wasn't for nobody else. I think Nando it said it best. It was for Atlanta. He had one point six million people saying, "Go dig your partner up." I don't. Oh, that was so disrespectful. 1.6 million oh people God. just said, go dig your partner up. Come on. And that said, I send a box to you, nigga. That was disrespectful. Did he really say that? No, he said that's, song, that's in the song. Yeah, you can look. Apple Music, when you get off, go listen to Gucci Man True. I don't want to believe that. No, Charlie. Gucci Man True. I mean, I think Jeezy won. I, it was t- I, Look, this is what it was. Music wise, Jeezy won. Pure nigga, like. Vibe in the room, <laughs> Gucci won. Gucci, that's like, yeah, Gucci. Gucci. Oh Who God. is it for? We all won because yeah, this is something we facts. thought we'd never see. Whoever I thought you'd see Gucci Man and Jeezy? We was having an album. argument in the in the barbershop like the week before. We was talking about the Ti. Was it gonna be Ti and Jeezy? They was like, now what if they get Gucci up there? It's not gonna happen. We oh, never right. gonna then, see it. And then, and then I thought it was a fake fly. So Gucci confirmed it. I was like, oh, I was praying on that shit. Real. I he was the trap guy. The only thing I want to know is did Gucci get the million? Cause he said he probably wouldn't not. do a versus probably not. he wouldn't get a million. Probably not. I don't think he did either. But well, I see, looking I at the sponsors, I couldn't put it past because it wasn't like a million wasn't a dollar to Apple, Apple and goddamn. Yeah, Ciroc. yeah. yeah since it was on Apple, maybe. Apple and Ciroc, bro. I could see him being like because the money that would have came back streaming wise, bro. Yeah. This shit streamed more than like the MTV awards. Mm-hmm. Nine point uh, total thus far. When I saw that shit like last week, nine point eight million people watched that shit. Mm. They broke records. Nine point eight, you say nine point eight million in total watched it. They and a consecutive one point six million watched it at one time. And then on thing, the streaming thing. And, and after you have those verses, like I wouldn't listen to Jeezy today after I watched the I verses. Would. So it's like you not only do you get the verses, you get the streams. you get instant streams get like streams. afterwards. Backs. There's like a little Backs. there's like Backs. a backdraft. Backs. Ain't never heard true in full. So now they need to hear it because you heard it when he did it. But it was so much in the room going on, you ain't really hear it. Now, yeah. go listen to the song. All the memes so, behind Gucci it. Gucci put out a whole... Jeezy had an album that came out. I listened to that motherfucker the whole way through. It was Deso. And um, People were Gucci back put out a recession. whole Greatest Hits mm-hmm. album the same day. They already played the song. I feel like, they, even yeah. though they, I feel like some I of the hostility like was scripted. Already. So like the, the, the situation is real, mm-hmm. but y'all niggas talked about this. You said you called him to set this up because I watched the whole interview afterwards with it too. Mm-hmm. Like they called each other to set that up, so it wasn't like y'all ain't have whatever way of words at that time. Y'all still talked enough to be able to set this up between you two to know that y'all was gonna be in this room together, planned out. Mm-hmm. You knew this shit all day that y'all niggas was gonna be in this room all week. I think it's one of those things that like you you trying to 
trying to get a bag and like you know get by a little bit you're not exactly sure but you're on the phone like hey they be, they, they squash it up to talk yeah, squash it enough to that's talk that's what I'm happy about you, you got and the, I think that's really important look look at the positives nigga they had Stacy the mayor of come Atlanta, in the beginning talk you know how many they niggas did who didn't know who she was? I didn't even know who it was at the beginning. Yeah. Until Man. I watched it. What? They did that shit in Magic City. Come on, bro. You pro-black? Yeah. I didn't even That's know what she was. They had Stacey. This nigga is like I'm the black panther. I'm surprised she popped Panther-er. up. Was she, Me too. Was she I'm like, is that Stacey? Stacey, nigga? Stacey, nigga? That's big Stacey on the screen. She talked. They was in Magic City. Magic City. They had the wings come out. The whole shit was classic. I wasn't sure who that was at first on the screen. When I was watching it, I was watching it on my phone. I knew it was going to be popping when Gucci had the DJ. Oh, my God. He had been using through all the mixtapes. Mm. When I heard it, I thought DJ Drama was gonna be there. That's what I thought. Man, when I seen Zaytoven, I said this a rap. Yeah, bro. It Ziggy, so many, it was so many celebrities in that motherfucker. It was I'm like, bro, it was like, nigga, I'm, I'm at the crib doing that. the same shit these niggas doing right now. They just probably got it on there. I'm watching it on TV. The bigger, like you said a second ago, like it being so big for the culture, we just have Von Go, Mo Three. Uh, <laughs> uh, nigga, them. Hey, that nigga said. That nigga said, "Go dig your pot up." G said, "Hey, man, we just had Nipsey <laughs> Hussle <laughs> and, and back. <laughs> <laughs> I own land, though. What the <laughs> fuck that got to do Dude. with your pot up? Being? That shit was so that funny. Was her, that shit was wild. Uh, we doing this shit for Vine and King Vine. I mean, goddamn yeah, Nipsey, nigga. Look, I'm, 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 I felt that too, though. I ain't on some real shit. I felt but. like he had to do it, but yeah. only reason he was gonna say all that shit already. Yeah. Gucci mm. just was that was your response the whole time. Yeah. yeah, Gucci was cut. That was his whole build up to what he was trying to do. He ain't freestyle. Hey, what he say? Yeah, was, yeah, Man, what? Look, out. My outfit ten thousand, nigga. What did nigga got on? <laughs> he killed that yeah, nigga with that shit, young. boy. That shit, that shit was hella what funny. Oh, but look, we finna go on a quick, quick commercial break mm-hmm. before we come back and chop it up with my dog comedian Reggie Gill for sure. Your commercial's already preset. Commercial break. Word, yeah, I'm pop music. I love you. Some but I have. <laughs> Ooh,
Yo, look at the song. That song's such a that's bop. A, that's the song my girl playing when she mad at me. Oh, well, I understand. <laughs> All I hear is that shit blasting through the shower. I, I don't that. like that shit. I be like, I understand. Oh, well, then you have a reason. That's a different, it's a different reason. She, Outside of that, it's a beautiful that, song. That weekends? Oh, that, yeah. Uh, oh, we, we nice. Like, yeah, she finna go the cheat weekend. on me now. Oh, like, <laughs> can't even do shit. What up, y'all? We back hey. on episode 43 of Ethnic-ish and more. Call laughter in the middle of danger. Hey, mm. I like that. Yeah, fire. Yeah, I've been thinking of these random names I last night. I didn't notice that. Yeah, it. we got laughter. Like we got the shit. comedian. We got danger from the songs coming out this Friday, y'all. Hey. Y'all better stay tuned. What? Get hip. And now we finna holler at my dog Reggie, man. Hey. What's good with you, <laughs> Reggie, man? Yeah, 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 Media yeah. Reggie Gill in the building, man. Yeah, Reggie Gill, what's that, man? So look, bro, tell our listeners a little, you know, a little about yourself and what you do. Um, I'm a comedian. I'm really trying to find a cure to diabetes right now. <laughs> non bullshit. Not at all. I mean, I'm a comedian, bro. I mean, shit, I've been doing it for like four years. I started at uh at Lincoln. I did a talent show. Like my partner. Shout out to Lincoln. Lincoln University. L U in the motherfucking building. HBCU, HBCU. You ghetto. I'm a ghetto graduate. Ratchet Roll units. You feel me? Ratchet Roll units. For sure, for sure. Ghetto graduate. I love Lincoln. I didn't graduate, but you know. (laughs) I love it though. You was that motherfucker for an hour. For an hour. About an hour. I was just about to say I didn't graduate, so I can't tell you. Hell yeah. I did it because I was there long enough, shit. It was keeping our (laughs) refund check still. Man, what? That's why I was there. That Perm Plus loan, nigga. That was up. I still owe that shit, but I'm gonna pay it off. Um, Hell yeah. Later on in life. But yeah, I've been uh, I've been doing comedy about four years. Started at Lincoln. Did my first show at Lincoln. From there, I moved straight to the A. And I started there. End up back here for a little minute till I leave again. So, so. How, how was it like doing? I mean, what's the, how, what was the difference? You know, doing comedy out here versus doing it in Atlanta. Man, Atlanta was different, nigga. Like, I'm finna go up. They're like, oh, you finna go up? You finna go up? Get bumped off the list. Guess who? Guess who coming through the door? Chris Tucker. I'm like, shit. I can't even be mad. Chris Tucker just walked in. He finna go up. Oh, I go up. Goddamn me, and then just uh, it's just legends all day, every day. So every time you go out to the comedy club, it's a legend going before you or going after you. Me and like Carlos Miller from uh, 85 South yeah. Show, nigga, he hosted the event every every week where I went. So I got good relationships with him. DC Young Fly, these are just like random, like just regular people, like regulars. So I don't know, it's just it's different. Yeah, you know what I'm saying that superstar status and people okay. willing to, willing and wanting to work work with you out there. That's what I love about Atlanta. So there's more opportunities, real per se. Uh, it is as far as networking. Network. Oh, I can Network. Feel that. See, like out here, I was backstage with Bill with, uh, with Bill Bellamy. I snuck in the green room. <laughs> I was the only local nigga in the green room with Bill Bellamy. Versus, if I would have did that in Atlanta, it would have been twenty comedians in the green room with him, all trying to go up and communicate with him. So it's kind of like you got the up out here, but. You know, it's just kind of weird, like, you know what I mean? Like, you get more personal connections being out here once they come in town type Okay. Shit. Yeah. I, I, I can see, see what you're saying. I so, can see. Okay. so, bro, what got you into comedy? Man, I I was the funniest nigga on campus for all 10 minutes while I was at that motherfucker. <laughs> I was flaming everybody, nigga. We, I was. Nigga, we used to do you big ass circles in front of Dawson and Scruggs, and it'd be like 20 niggas, and I'd be killing everybody. See, I was going around. Yeah, you had you. Man, I, was, I was with a kid and off campus by that time. Man, they would have found me. I was and summoned me to the courtyards. And just, I was man. killing niggas. Shout out my boy Gucci if he looking. I was killing Gucci, niggas, yeah, and I, my pop, my roommates, they was like, bro, just it's a talent show. Just go on stage. Do that shit. Try to write some shit, nigga. I won second place. I said I won first place because it was a singer. You can't win to oh, no yeah. singer like. Yeah, you especially can't. if they go crazy. Man, the she went crazy. Yeah, her. Yeah, yeah now what she said it was a girl. It's two things, bro, that make it because I used to do talent shows for dancing. Man. And shit back at, you know, a motherfucking can sing mm-hmm. and if somebody can do poetry, like good as fuck. Yeah. Like to where motherfuckers was in there, like, mm-hmm. damn, yeah. damn. Yeah. Like, them singers, bro. He, he and she was that. fine as hell, too. And she was an oh, AKA. Yeah, no. mm-hmm. Nope. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. She was thick as hell, too. So oh, I can't, I ain't thick like that. I can't win. But shit, I'm gonna look for your first time, though. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, and at Lincoln, and look, and I, done, I went to Lincoln talent shows. We used to be at the motherfucker, man. so that should be the whole bottom floor, damn near packed. Man, man that shit was and packed. If it's cracking, the balcony would be the packed. The balcony, out. everything yeah. was packed out. 
Nigga, I, I went straight to Atlanta. Like, the next week, I dropped out. <laughs> nigga, I, I was on Dean's list like a motherfucker. My mom was mad as hell. I dropped out and went straight to uh, Atlanta. You, you figured it out, though. Yeah. When yeah. you find out what's your passion, it ain't shit that's supposed to stop that. Facts. Like, all right. Facts. By any means necessary, I'm finna make shit shake everybody else. Because now, it ain't too much shit she can say about it. It's like, all right, nigga, you, you may have made a good decision you with this. Me? Like, if I know school ain't for me, why I'm going to waste this debt on it? Exactly. When I'm going to make this career dream. Because like, your passion going to push you. And, and you it, can do it. It'll, yeah. it'll be here when I get back. Look, school, school ain't, ain't going never nowhere. Go nowhere. 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 And I'm like, a lot of the times, bro, you don't need that shit. You just there. School was cool. Lincoln was cool for the network. Mm -hmm. I got hella connections Man. based off Lincoln. I don't use mother group shit. I have before, mm -hmm. but I don't use That's it for nothing. Thing. It yeah. just honestly, it's a fire ass wall, piece of paper, where it give me the one up at sometimes at jobs just because people be like, all right, if you could go through the rigors of four years at a school, you can handle some shit like mm -hmm. you just critical thinking type shit, make people look at you like that. Other than that, that shit is a piece of paper that look cool. I got a nice frame with a little tassel. Depending on your man. Depending, depending. Depending on your man. I did criminal justice. I did I was social worker for mm. kids. I did that before in Jeff City. This shit ain't paid. I got more. I got paid more to talk to people about furniture with Crate and Barrel through chat on the phone than I did as being a social worker. Golly. Yeah. Kids five through seventeen. That's crazy. Wow. I knew at that point, I'm like, bro, I'm getting paid. And I granted, it is the where you live at and all of that. But mm -hmm. even people I knew, I'm like, you're not getting paid shit to deal with kids. I'm teaching kids coping mechanisms yeah. so they could deal with their anger issues and shit at school. Mm -hmm. But I got paid more to straight up live chat people about furniture at Cranberry. That's crazy. That shit crazy, bro. Hell yeah. So look, well, um, you know, what are some of your comedic, like, who are some of your comedic, exp like, inspirations, past and present? Man... Um, Carlos Miller. Okay. That's like, I mean, you know, you got all these Bernie Max and shit like that. They great, you feel me? But me personally, who I look up, who I study, is Carlos Miller. I mean, you got to see like they grind, like that whole all of them. That shit went from the same way you trying to make it. Man, I, they shit and they shit happened. I mean, from what we see, is quick. I don't know how much time was in the background. To 15, him. 15 I, 20 years. I know, like see? Carlos was on. He was, and then even like the stuff that he was doing like before a while now. But, that nigga uh, was on hell he day. Was he was that on nigga hell was on day. hell day. And that hell day episode is funny than a motherfucker, yeah. dog. See, that shit I wouldn't so, have never known, bro. Cause so, I ain't follow. Hell of yeah. funny. Carlos Miller, Lavar Walker. Y'all probably know Lavar Walker. He was a uh, he on Netflix a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, he do the the famous Ti shit impression. Okay. Um. Um. Shit. That's about it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I like Dave Chappelle and shit like that, but yeah. no, just as far as like mm. right now, my shit changed, man. Like every other month, but but Carlos and Lavar Walker like are up there. Okay, so always on that top five, and that's just my opinion. My. Those are the people I study. I feel so, that. what made you come from Atlanta to St. Louis? Are you from here? Yeah, I'm from here. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So you came back home. Hell yeah! I feel yeah. that. I feel that, that money, boy. Okay. Nigga, I was paying in Atlanta. I was paying me and my girl was paying fifteen hundred a month for a one bedroom. Oh, hell no. no degrees. <laughs> we both in school. Well, she was in school. I'm hustling, trying to got them like, like make shit work. Yeah. We no. like, yeah. Let us uh, come to the crib and yeah. try to figure some shit out. Yeah, that shit right. expensive. Yeah, Fact. I always been saying it, it ain't never. It seemed like a bad decision because like, man, this is what we wanted to do. Yeah. I don't want to go back, but shit, that be the perfect thing for you to do. Man, it was perfect. That was man, one of the best moves I made. Man, I think that, especially like during like right now with Rona and shit, come home, you know, gather yourself a little bit, man. and then once it ends, try to go back out and do, and try to do it again or something. Mm -hmm. I, I feel it. So look, something I want to know because I always used to say I'm gonna try to do comedy, but sure. I never understood the whole process of writing out like a joke. Mm. Like how you structure that? How are yeah. you supposed to write? Because I'm more of a it in person, comes. natural, Trash. just talk. I'm person. not funny. Like I'm more of a just. I'm gonna talk to you. We gonna laugh. We gonna kick it. So yeah. I mean, what kind, what really goes into that type of process, like of doing that? I mean, it's so many different writing styles, though. It's so many. See, what I what I was doing at first, like I go to the comedy club every day, Monday through Sunday, and I'll be saying different shit, and whatever didn't work. I would whatever work I'll put it together, create my set. But as far as the writing shit, you gotta have that confidence. As far as I don't give a fuck, whatever I say is gonna be funny. <laughs> it's my life. You know, you write about personal shit or See, shit that you going through or so shit that you, you really did. Like, like how is you writing? Like how you how are you taking like a scenario in your life 
and structuring it to where you gonna say this as a joke. That's what I've always. That's what I. That's the part where I get confused. I'm mean, granted, you got your own way to do. It. I yeah. know it's not a set way, but that's where I was, and I never yeah. did the research. But that's where I was hung up on, cause I know I could probably go up there. Mm-hmm. You give me and the mic, talk. shit. I'ma talk. Yeah. And depending on how the room, I'ma get a couple, couple chuckles. Well, there you go. It's no right or wrong way to do it. There's no right way or a, a certain way to write a joke. Yeah. Like, like I was talking to my wife, not my partner the other day. And I was telling him how, uh, no, the nigga called me and told me he he uh, think he might be gay. My bad if you look at this. He, he was like, I think I might be gay. That's what he's telling me. <laughs> and I told him, like, I mean, I'm not surprised. I knew you was gay because you called the Duce Denzel. <laughs> and and that, it's just shit like that that I say on stage. Like, everything I just told you is what I would say. Yeah. And shit like that. Like, even just about my wife. Like, everyday shit. Like. I would just say how I'm talking to you. It's yeah. no different. Okay. So, and you just write it down. Not all the time. But yeah, most Some people yeah, have memory. Sometimes I mean, some, yeah, sometimes I do write it down. Memory. I ain't gonna say like I'm just off the head. No, I ain't I ain't like that yet. You know what I'm saying? Some shit I can't just say off the head. Some shit I'm like, I need to write. That's a bar. Like I got to get it. Like I got to say that. So Ooh, it's it's just different, man. Ooh, it's Or oh, you would put a topic, marriage, and you're going on stage and talk about everything that Yeah, yeah. I can do that. Yeah, I can, I can see that. that. I can see me just putting a one word yeah, yeah. in the like, structure. Like no one I need to talk. It's just like, okay, say if you was freestyling. I'm pretty sure. Nah, nah, that's I understand because you said you don't, you couldn't do that. But if you was just going, I should be able to, with your mind, if I throw a word at you, you could take yeah, that word and, start and run rapping. with it. Yeah, I can do that. Like we, I've been like even practicing. So look that at it the, the same sense. Like, all right, I got this one word. I'm finna freestyle. If you practice it, I know. Enough well, funny shit that. in my life where, all right, let me think of this moment where I knew it was funny. And it's the whole, it's really structured to make sure the punchline, that shit ain't too long. The, yeah, the punchline, is, I think I have terrible folks, time. The joke though. be long as hell. I, I like, don't know. Because you can look at people like Ali Sadiq. Um, y'all know Ali Sadiq, uh, mm-hmm. Mexican with boots. That nigga just oh, yeah. talks. <laughs> the nigga, <laughs> how he talks. Got on boots. He, yeah, I know. He helped. Yeah, That's how what he make his st- I could do shit but like that. A lot of times he don't. He took me away from the the, the point, the the, the punchlines, the the one two shit, the one two shit. He like being able to stretch your shit out and be able to deliver a message and a joke Tell all a like Dave Chappelle. I mean, yeah. look, yeah. you feel I just me? Did it on a Facebook Live video. Yeah, when I told my catfish story. I think exactly like, that I'm nigga. Sorry. That right there, shit like that. I've would seen you, that shit. That would shit you say funny. like Tony Baker do that too? Because like the way Tony Baker just talk. Tony Baker's not funny to me, bro. What? And I try to, bro. And I've watched a lot. Yeah, of I'm videos. not gonna say that because he might want to take me on tour. No, and I, and I always, funny as fuck, no, bro. Tony I, like, Baker I like is him hilarious. Like, when I watch the um, when they be flaming, when each they other, be flaming, the, that type all of, of shit them, them, but that, that shit. But yeah. as far as like them videos where he be doing the the voiceovers and what? Shut up! Like that. I heard the first time I heard that show. I was like. My homeboy was weak as fuck. I'm like, I don't get it. Yeah. I think it I think just seemed like Baker with stand-up specials, the jokes be more structured. Because it's like they'll have like one thing that they say in the beginning or the middle, and then they just like bring it back home at call the back. end. That's a callback. Yeah, call back. yeah. yeah. Call back. so it's like I think that's more. So I see, I I see that more in stand-up. Much. But like yeah. everything else do seem kind of like, like you said, freestyle where everybody yeah. had their own. Oh, look, now that you put fuck with, I'm going to tell my catfish story on stage. Man, just <laughs> go do and it. do it, yeah, man. Do I got to figure shit. out how to shorten it. I told that shit for an hour. Grand, yeah, I was yeah, barbecuing. Do it. You got to do it in five minutes. I was barbecuing. See, and that's, that's what it is. <laughs> Summon it. I was barbecuing. Yeah. You can make, like, skit jokes. So you make yours. But I've been saying I've been saying funny I like do that, though. skit videos. And I just don't do it. I'm only funny in, like, conversation. Like I'm like Nico is just like personality yeah. regular oh kind of like, and I always funny. been like that though. I, but oh. I always say that's why if you look, my I put fake comedian. Yeah. I'm like, bro, I just think I'm funny. Mm. But I always like, bro, I'm gonna go on stage and do that shit. But I just never, try, man. That's what I tell everybody. They'd be like, bro, give me some advice. Ain't no advice in comedy. But I can believe that just because when people talk to me about podcasts, like, well, I ain't got no viewers. I'm like, nigga, I ain't know who's gonna listen to this shit. I got right. a following on Facebook. That don't mean they want to hear me talk for an hour and a half. Man, what? So, I don't know what the fuck. He gonna get 200 comments every day. This boy could post yeah, it, it, a it, picture of his son with a with a caption above it that say, "This ashy nigga." Two hundred yeah, comments, it took a long year. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and five hundred <laughs> laugh reacts. It took, it took a long I, time to get that. I wish I, but look, bro, I've been doing social media since like MySpace and all that shit. Like, oh, me too. Like, you're fucking with it heavy. 
So I always said, we, I was just lazy. Like, I just never, I, when we was like, well, we ain't got no money to buy these cameras. We, look, we come across all the money to buy the equipment in college to have that money. We was buying stupid shit. When I look That's, back, I'm like, man, I thought about the ball. Man, camera, what? Nigga, we if we just started, bang, what? Wow. That's when I had I could have made a whole time college like, campus. We could have just been recording YouTube videos shit. all day, bro. I had Lincoln was a campus. You could do that shit everywhere, all over. You could have a spot for everything. Lincoln think, scenarios right. would have been perfect. Perfect. Man, we need to do that shit. Yeah. When we was young, you Bring just Lincoln didn't understand. Scenarios and skip like, videos, the, the, the the when we was young, you just didn't understand the market for that kind of stuff. I like we was now I was worried about other shit. And, I was worried about shit that ain't mean shit. I'm seeing Chicago women Long for the Beach. first time. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, I went to Lincoln. Y'all are different. When yeah, I, you man. see influence, yeah, like, Ha Ha yeah. Davis and all these people who just they ain't did nothing but made videos. That's videos, it. bro. It's consistency. It's the same That's shit. It, bro. That's it, bro. That's the key to air, any nigga. You want to work out, you want to lose weight, you want to. It's consistency. It's get the some, same. Get Cooking draws, dope, selling dope. It's the Shoot same shit. Day after day. Eventually, that motherfucker yeah. gonna go in. Some, somebody gonna respond to this. Hey, baby mama, what you doing, miss? Hell yeah. yeah. Whole method to that's called the 10% rule. You shoot your shot at 10 women with the same line. As long as one of them go through, it's successful. You ain't need all 10 of them to go through. Damn, Unless you try to live your life like that. That's how I live, that's, but that fucked me up too. Cause that's how I was living my you life. You single, ain't you? No, well, yeah, I am. He said, "No, nah, yeah, I am. Nigga, you <laughs> single or you <laughs> not? <laughs> single. No, I'm single. You might I'm be single? No, I talk to somebody, but I'm single. <laughs> okay. But yeah, but no. Nah, but, um, how was that, bro? How was being I mean, single I'll, now? I'll be minding my business, shit. There's too much going on, shit. I'll be doing my rounds with Then you get lonely, bro. You be lonely. Damn. Damn. I got a dog and a kid, man. I live that don't mean shit, nigga. I nah, know. bro. They don't sleep in the same bed as Girl, you, nigga. you nah. better... No, nah, yeah, bro, I'll be so cool. I, I got somebody I to talk to every night. Okay. Too. Yeah, I got people. Nigga, I, man. Being single is, is lonely. I know what it is. I, I can't imagine being single. It, but until I found something to occupy my time, which is like, yeah. I got all so much shit. Yeah, bro, I work. Okay. Just start okay. doing my business. I got you. By that time, I'm done going to sleep. Yeah. By that, then by that whole week by myself, me and my son, we do it's it's complete weeks. So I get him from Friday to Friday. His mama get him that Friday. Keep him to the next Friday. Then Man, I get him back. My partner single. He told me this girl called him. This ain't even no joke. This some real shit. I swear to God. This nigga. He said this girl called him and said I got good news and I got bad news. Mm -hmm. yeah, don't don't do that. that. Don't good do news that. is I, I want to fuck you. Okay. All right. Now hold on. Wait. Bad news is. I got a tumor growing in my head and I die in two weeks. Well, shit, is it a fact? Wait, he said he gonna what? Huh? He gonna die in two weeks. No, she, she is going to die. She has a tumor no, growing. No, wait a minute. That so just sounds like she got two. Got that she much at the man. hospital. And if she not at the hospital. No, she ain't at the hospital. Well, she living free. But when's she trying to do this? Well, yeah. yeah. She well, she just want to fuck, but she dying. Well, yeah, well, okay then. Be your last wish. That's what I'm oh, saying. Nigga, oh, shit. Wait, 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 then we gonna she do go, this again if it was great. Right. She gonna wanna marry you then. There's yeah, some things cool. here. You saved my life. Wow. Just like just like <laughs> just like Hell no. You you back life, there, bro. Oh just like <laughs> Danger <laughs> is one of those <laughs> we fucking and we not supposed to be fucking songs. When you call a girl and be like, I almost died or something, and she come fuck you because she thought she was finna die, that's up there. I'm, I'm, so that, I'm coming to her because she took the time out no, to come I'm fuck. I'm going to kiss you in the mouth no, and yeah. tell you I'm making love with her. But you know, it's better when you ain't do supposed I, do we to be know doing she certain things. It is. You're going to give me some trouble. She's going to die. Exactly. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, because if she don't die, it's about to come about this bitch. I'm going to be mad. Somebody going to die. No, you going to have to be in the hospital. We're going to have to hit you in the hospital for me to go and do that. Somebody going to die. What you say? Talk about skiing up in the north. I know you're going to. He talking about you're going to ski because she's going to die. What if she don't die? Now you got to mm -mm. die. Somebody going to die. Well, and if she, depending on what's going on, if she got a tumor growing and all that, you know, that might affect her reproduction. You got to get like radiation and stuff. I only, I only watched a couple episodes or two, three seasons of Grey's Anatomy. Ooh. I can't really diagnose that. That's but, deep. Yeah. You got to get like. What if she don't you die and she get pregnant? pregnant. You got to get was radiation and stuff. I ain't going to say I'm going to dislike the little motherfucker, but I'm going to like you your mama's child. Because I didn't. Now wait a minute. You, your you mom was supposed to die. I ain't. Now, <laughs> now, I didn't think your mom. Your mom was supposed to die hey, originally. <laughs> Nico, I need you to stop this. He just gave every bitch who wanted to trap a nigga the perfect way to yeah. do oh, something. Oh shit, well, my fault. They don't be listening. Them type females of women. Females don't really just like yes, black men don't cheat. Females do not be out here stop. trapping y'all. Stop. So I'm not saying that. You know if. 
if you come inside of a female, what happens? It's niggas that trap women too. Nothing. I did, that's true because I got trapped. My calm disappear. Like when it just <laughs> ew, boom, gone, Wait, what? magic. <laughs> I don't know. That's that just what it do. <laughs> you know how before I got with my wife, I was. I don't give a fuck. You know how many bitch I, women I was coming in, how and that shit just wow. ain't go. So how many kids? Were, maybe they just wasn't ovulating at that time. That's Probably God was blessing me. You don't get me. that lucky that that ovulate. Man, thing. what? That that it ain't. Well, now that you got some apps, you can. Oh, oh, but app. even if don't the be when that motherfucker not moving. Okay, let's go. That was Hell, a nasty no, motherfucker, man. I'll tell you, I wrap that thing up. I'll tell a motherfucker I can't go up in you like that because I know what I'm gonna do. You a good one. You rapper? I ain't never rap up in college, and I ain't like you a rapper. Never mind. I ain't even talking, on, telling my business. Sex spell backwards is raw, dog. X E. No, it ain't. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Sex spell backwards is raw, dog. <laughs> oh my god. So you so be you be rapping up and shit. What kind of lame man nigga rap up? I mean, yeah. you supposed to be going raw. Dog. Yeah, I will with somebody I'm with. Like we said, I fuck. Like, somebody I ain't I'm never with. Threw, I ain't never said I ain't never with anything. He said up. somebody I'm, I'm with. with. Somebody and shit. First oh. of all, we was on public radio news. I'm not gonna be oh, just okay. saying I'm wrong. <laughs> I feel you. Thank you. I so got he be going to raw on the low low. I got people that listen. I be. I, I mind my business. I mind. You ain't, now, if you ain't my chick, no. Nah, because of, or if I don't fuck with you consistently, no. Nah. Because shit, if I'm just fucking with you and fucking with a whole bunch of other people, hell no. Nah, I was a hoe before I got married. I was a hoe too. I used to have a condom in my pocket and still. I've done that too. I had the condom And still did not use it? I don't have the condom on the hell bed. Hell yeah. Man, you know, what? That, that was, that's how much. You're like, I know oh, a homeboy who used to. Yeah, condom sex is gross. It's, it's it is. Gross. Gross. Make the pussy smell like potato like, salad. Like, don't oh nobody. Like, if I see. See a flick and he got a rubber on. I'm instantly turning it, it off. Like, <laughs> like, like what the? I fuck? I can do this. No, like, like, what like the, the first few times. Like, yeah, I ain't trying, especially if you ain't on the burger. Look, I can't be listen. I got I, one that's ten. I'm not trying to have another one if I can prevent it. All right, Reggie, I got a question. I had a homeboy oh. who his thing used to be like he he would have like a ramen noodle packet. Okay. And he would make it look like you know you take. The, don't look at me like that, Barbara. I, he would rip it, be down at the end, kind of like throw it down, and you know, then go in. Nah, that, that might that be the niggas that, that be having packet. shit. Huh? The chicken packet is valuable. It's valuable. Huh? Two is silver. Three. That it's in the dark. That motherfucker smells strong. Man, it do it smell like like, like you. I think he said the girl Broadway was like, like a rubber fan. The girl was like, "Do you have one?" And he was like, "Nah, well you gotta have one." He but was what? like, "Wait, I know one one's that." Uh, and he ran to the kitchen. Okay, he was at his crib. Opened the ramen like, noodle pack and came back and then acted like desperate Ooh, time. Dudes, des I'm messes. telling y'all, dudes will do some stuff, oh, or they'll put it on and take it off while they behind you. Y'all know, don't. No, just because somebody did that to you, you know what I mean? I ain't never did that because I ain't never worth a motherfucker, so. He on his own. If I'm going to not wear it, I'm not going to open the motherfucker. That's the damn show. I'm not going to waste a good rub. I don't do that. Just be faking. You feel me? You will be surprised. You will be surprised with some men that are out here doing child. But look, Reggie, let I know, let our listeners know, and viewers, where they can find you, you know, anything about your brand and all that. Okay, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook at Comedian Reggie Gill. Comedian Reggie Gill. That's the Gill with two L's. Double G I E. Yep. G I double L. G I L L. Correct. Y'all gonna oh, find. I gotta put you on game. Yeah, put me on game real quick. We got we we really over time. Okay, we, we go ahead then. Yeah, I'll we put can do it behind the mic there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We got a little behind the scenes joint yeah. going on, y'all. But look, man, we gotta. Uh, once I find my mic, I don't care about my. Look, we got Reggie in the building. We got B Love in the building. We got Tomo in the building. Oh, I got. We was out here kicking it, man. I hope y'all tuned in to this wonderful ep episode. I'm high, y'all. I'm gonna go home and take a nap. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Figgity, figgity facts. No, I ain't gonna take no nap. I ain't pick gotta up. work tomorrow. It's, I'm outside. I'm, I'm finna go home, Henny. pick up the Thanksgiving food my mama made for Henny. me, I'm and then go back to with somebody mama. There you go. That's my dog like a plan. It's usually a fancy plan of my own. But look, y'all, it's your boy Nico the Great. Make sure y'all tune in next week, man. I got my wonderful second time guest. She was on during the pilot season of the show, Brandy Yates of Conquering Relationships. And then we got Miss W.K. Winston of The Woke Brand. She's going to come in and kick it with us, talk about the upcoming fashion show she got on December 6th. So we're going to discuss all of that and more. And we are out this thing. That's Oh,
come with like meals, a designer, like one brand hoodie. I think I will say it. It's probably like a little bit. What happened? They really be fucking with me.